Tonight, growing questions after a first of its kind data breach targeting genealogy site 23andMe. Investigative reporter Julie Watts is getting answers on the hack that appeared to target anyone with Jewish ancestry. You know, this breach is really going to open a lot of folks' eyes. Chris Nottingham of Checkpoint, a global cybersecurity company, says this is a first of its kind data breach, but it began in the same way as most others. Uh, the term that we use in the security industry is called credential stuffing. He says hackers got leaked username and password combinations from previous breaches purchased on the dark web, then used automated bots to access any accounts that reused those passwords and didn't have two factor authentication. But once inside those 23andMe accounts, the hackers could gain access to anyone who opted to share information with potential relatives, even if those people did have secure passwords and two-factor authentication. If someone else in your network didn't have two-factor authentication turned on and they were compromised, your data could have been collected as well. The hackers initially advertised databases with people of Jewish descent, which could include anyone with even 1% Jewish ancestry. Now that the, you know, more of the data has been available, it's not just one background that should be concerned. 23andMe says the data obtained didn't include specific genomic details, but it could include information ranging from genetic background and relatives to photos, birth years, and other personal information. DNA is about as personal as it gets. We know those other hacks can lead to financial fraud, but what could be done with information about our DNA and extended family. Really at this point, I think that uh, that's yet to be seen what's going to happen with this data. We haven't had an attack like this before that's compromised this sort of uh, of DNA data, but uh, I'm sure if there is a way, the uh, the bad guys are going to figure that out. A good reminder, you really need to use unique passwords and two-factor authentication. Now, what's different here is some users share their data with relatives, and that exposed them even more. You can request sites like 23andMe to delete your data.